Okay, no hype here. Big developments. Brian Walsh, the husband of the missing mother in Massachusetts, Anna Walsh, has now been officially charged with homicide, okay? Sources believe uh, that the case is going to be about uh, his attempt to murder and then completing it and then getting rid of the body, perhaps by dismembering it. Uh, that will relate to some of the evidence that they found. The new theory that's being floated in the media, disposed of the remains at an incinerator near the home. An official who was close to the investigation is cited uh, in reporting as saying, we don't believe a body will be found intact. High-profile criminal defense attorney Mark Garagos back, as well as criminal behaviorist, homicide investigator Sarah Kalin. Good to have you both. Uh, Sarah, this information information. Uh, no body. How big an obstacle is that in making the crime, even with all the carpet, with the tissue and the hacksaw and the, yeah, all the other things they found? Well, I mean, I, I'm certainly happy to speak to it in broad terms when it comes to the details of how one handles a case like that on either side of the table. I would, uh, of course, defer to Mark. But, you know, we do see, that, see this. It doesn't happen frequently, but it does happen where we are able to arrest and, you know, eventually, hopefully successfully prosecute somebody for homicide, even without a body. And I think typically what you would be looking for um, as on the investigation side is evidence that the events that took place at the scene of the crime were not something that a human was likely to be able to survive. Mm. And so when, you know, if they're talking about tissue, do we know what kind of tissue it is? You know, stuff like this that would indicate to, um, to the medical examiner and to forensics experts that a human could not have survived this. And that's the kind of thing that the investigators are going to do um, to make the case for prosecuting without without a body um, to, you know, to have uh, have examined at an autopsy or something. Um, but again, I, I would certainly defer to Mark on how that looks in a courtroom. Always your first mistake, giving up that leverage. What is the take from the other side of the table? <laughs> well, look, the there was a, a legendary DA in L.A. named J. Miller Levy. And probably sometime when I was five or six years old, he was one of the original guys who prosecuted successfully a nobody case. He later, after he retired, he kind of rented himself out as the nobody prosecutor to various jurisdictions. So they do it, and they do it with some degree of frequency, and I would agree it's not common. And uh, what what they do is they focus on first first of all the circumstantial evidence she would if she was here she would not do this she wouldn't do that she would be around she wouldn't leave her kids she, and then they will focus on the the forensic evidence uh, if you have uh, if you've got blood and you've got a hacksaw and you have a knife and mind you, what was reported today, Michelle McPhee was the uh, reporter who broke this. Apparently, she's being told that there is both either GPS or cell phone pings, pings near the incinerator, two incinerator locations. So I'm sure they've searched that or they've looked for that, too. They don't expect a body to be found. But I bet tomorrow when they unseal the affidavit, you're going to see that that is their theory. Tomorrow is the arraignment. Uh, so you'll hear the presentation of the charges against him, and they can give information. They don't have to give that much uh, for it, but... Well, I usually will criticize the prosecutors for what they say, and I've done that. I freely do that. Today, I thought that the Norfolk County prosecutor did a fine job. I mean, he, he limited it. He said, uh, you know, just the basics and said it's sealed and we'll see tomorrow if it's unsealed. I mean, you know, the defense, if I'm the defense lawyer, I'm probably going to be arguing I don't want that unsealed. The amount of publicity about this is going to make it impossible to get a fair trial. And uh, you've got to do something to damp down the media attention surrounding this. Mm. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to newsnationnow.com newsnationnow.com and you can find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.